Hi, I'm Noelle Hyman from paperclipping.com and we are in the Ellison Sizzix booth and we're going to look at these great Sizzix dies that make up all the pieces to this gorgeous tea party. And I'm just so excited to share this with you. I think you're going to love this. And there's lots and lots of pieces that you or dies that you can use to make all these wonderful three-dimensional uh, pieces for decorating for a party like a tea party or a little girl's birthday party or anything you want but it's it's a French inspired very feminine style with the idea of entertaining so let's show you really quick what the dies look like just so you can see there's a whole bunch of different dies that you could choose from to make up this party and these are the accessories the ones on this top row are kind of well some of them are more major pieces um, and then some of them are accessories and some of them make up the larger pieces. So if you go down, you can kind of see it all. There's embossing plates, there's die cuts. These are the die cuts for the shoes and there's three different styles of shoes. And there's a princess birthday crown and the teacups. But I think I really want to focus on showing you all the possibilities by looking at what this, the designer, Brenda, has made. So for example, we've got these amazing teacups here you, when you in one die cut you get all the pieces that make up the cup and the handle and the bottom of the cup and the tea bag. I mean that's so brilliant. And then you can use one of the other die cutting packages to add the really great accessories. So you can see there's all kinds of different wonderful accessories from the ribbon over here all the way across to the heart, the flower. I mean, just lots of great things. This little banner here on this cup that says happy birthday. I love the fact that they included a, a tea bag. And then down here, you can see the shoes. And again, there's three different styles. So you can get the shoe with the, the full front, the closed toe shoe full front, or you can get um, a shorter front closed toe. So it's all open here. Or you can get the open toe. It's not, they all three come in in the package. And then, then you can take the other die cuts and accessorize the shoe to give it the top. So those cute little tops there. There's a die cut of buckles that you could use. So for example, here's a great little buckle on this one. And here's another one with a buckle. And then Brenda, the designer, chose to accessorize even more by adding, for example, this fringe that she sewed and pleated to this shoe it's, and, and this one right here, it's so cute. She's also added ribbons to the heels of some of the shoes, so that's what you see right here. They make great little great little uh, decorations for your party or you, little girls could maybe even try to put some together. And then we've got, Brenda, I'm gonna come in and have you, this is the designer for all these products and Hi. also you made the party pieces too, right? Am I right? Oh yes, okay. everything. <laughs> so this is Brenda. Brenda, I wanted to ask you a few questions. Sure. If you come over here, will you explain what you did with this piece? It's so beautiful. Oh, yes, so this is a, a glass dome with a piece inside. And so I can just take the glass dome off for a second and then I can show you how I built it. The back piece is, um, it's florist wire underneath and then I created the flowers using the, flor the flower dye, it's called Summer Florals, and I cut them out of tissue paper and out of um, coffee filters and then while they were, I made them a little bit damp and then I touched the edges with dye, with an aniline dye called Dr. Martens and so that you get a little bit of a transition of color throughout rather than just having all one color. And that I made the little leaves out of a pearlescent paper and I put a wire on the back of them so they'd have a little flexibility. The chandelier is made out of a die that actually is turned upside down. So if you could imagine it turned the other way, it would be a fleur-de-lis. And then the little dancers down here at the bottom are made from a die called Dancers. And it's a little sizzlet. And then you can cut it out multiple times and then dress them with different papers. So the base die is actually a script paper. And then I layered on a floral. I layered on some tulle on the skirt, put some little pearls on it. 
And then on the man, I cut him out of a black paper and put a black velvet ribbon on the cuffs and the collar and then glittered his feet. I love little tiny things. <laughs> these are all, these guys are all part of this collection. It's called Favorite Thing. That's right, exactly. All right, so let's show them off so a few of these other pieces too. They can make a crown. Yeah, so the crown is really fun because you can personalize it in so many different ways. The die itself is just this crown base, and so the die itself looks just like this, except for the embossing, which was done with another embossing die. <laughs> okay, so then I layered on uh, the medallions, which is another die. The butterflies is another die called Flights of Fancy, and it's the small and large butterfly, and then there's also a dragonfly in that die. In another die, there are the hearts, Another die, it's a complete alphabet. And so I simply glittered the A so it would really stand out and I popped it out with pop dots. And then there's a banner that says happy birthday and that was done with another die that has a banner on it. All of these still part of that same favorite things line of die cuts. Exactly, yeah. So I love the way things all work together. Yeah. And you can set up the whole party for like you've got yes. these too, these great little Yeah, they're kind of like little fairy wands. Yes. So you could There's put one at each place setting. And these are just bamboo skewers and uh, Oh you glittered bamboo skewers. I did great idea. Uh-huh. And then the flower is made just from one flower die. So it's basically one flat flower flower that has a scalloped edge. And then I kept cutting out V cuts out of pieces out of it and then connecting the pieces back together so that you end up with smaller and smaller flowers. Yeah. And then I punched a hole down the middle and put in little vintage stamens. That's brilliant. So that's how that one was made. <laughs> Very nice. And I like also that as part of this line you've got cards so maybe they could be used as invitations. Oh definitely. Or let's, let's see here's a die cut there. There's a, that's right. Uh -huh. And, we, and there's an example on the wall. The here. cards, yes, okay. the cards are behind here. Let's let Izzy kind of do his thing. Okay. The cards are exactly behind him, so I pointed probably in the wrong direction because maybe what we want him to see are these cards here, yes. along with the cake die cut. Go ahead, you yeah, can, yeah. Right. And so um, this this die uh, has a, a sweet little scalloped edge along the bottom, and then you can layer any number of embellishments on it. And then I really love this one because it's just the shape of a dress, and it folds at the shoulders. So you could imagine that would make a darling little, you know, girl party invitation. Oh, yeah. And then we also have this cake die, and it's a flat one, and then it has these little um, scallops that you can adhere onto it and glitter and you know decorate in any way that you like and the flower even came from the collection so just about almost everything that I've been showing you is part of the collection so it's so wonderful Thank so you. just the last couple details that I want to highlight is this great bouquet to okay. help decorate the party and then we've got the cupcakes made with fondant yes. that you did with the embossing folders right Right, all right, so I'll explain how I did this. The little bow is part of the dress die that, that you just saw. The little uh, circle is another die, the medallion is another die, and this flower is the same flower that I just showed you as the dimensional flower. And then the fondant is actually rolled out, cut in a circle with a circle cutter, and then uh, put into an embossing folder, and then run through the big shot. And so what I did was I reduced the pressure on it just a little bit so that I could get just the right level of embossing. And then while it was still kind of damp, I painted uh, metallic paint on the pattern. So you can see, you know, how, how special it makes it. What did you wrap it around? Something and I ra wrapped it around just a styrofoam ball. Okay. I sliced the bottom off so that it would lie flat. And then I, I used a glue gun to adhere it to the cupcake paper and then I set it right into a cupcake tin uh -huh. so that when it dried it would look like this. So It's so great. I love it. Thank you. So many creative, wonderful details and, and anybody could watch this video and look at these products and get the whole set and then really exactly. go all at it for the oh, part, for yes. a party and multiple parties really. Exactly. Just use different colors of paper. Yeah. Yeah. It's yes. so great. So thank you so much, Brenda, for oh, sharing all this with us. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Okay, so the line is called Favorite Things. That's right. It's uh, part of Sizzix. Yes. And um, it's my debut line with Sizzix. It's your debut line with Sizzix. Yes. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. That's really cool. I love <laughs> thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. I'm Noelle Hyman from paperclipping.com.